What if humans are not the first civilization on Earth? What if there were technologized beings on Earth before us who are responsible for structures such as the pyramids? There is plenty of evidence of early civilizations and cultures that do not appear in the history books. But renowned science still resists the idea that a race lived on Earth before the last ice age or in the distant Silurian age that may also determine the fate of humans. The Silurian theory basically states that long before the last ice age, intelligent beings may have existed on Earth. These hypothetical beings could have developed an advanced civilization that then perished for reasons as yet unknown. The theory further speculates that traces of this civilization were largely wiped out by geological processes and the long period of time. According to previous historiography, the Silurian was a geological epoch in which primitive life forms first developed in the oceans. From around 443 million years ago to around 419 million years, the picture so far is that the first coral reefs emerged and a fission of life forms suddenly gave rise to a multitude of marine creatures such as trilobites, brachiopods, and the first bony fish. To this day, we do not know what processes led to this first small explosion of life. Could it have been the presence of a higher race or an extraterrestrial intervention? The Silurian followed the Ordovician and preceded the Devonian. All in all, these epochs were archaic times. It is almost impossible to explain where intelligent life on Earth would have come from at this time, unless it came from outer space. In human biology or in the science of the development of life forms and humans, scientists assume that certain times are necessary for life to develop evolve, and ultimately become entities like us humans. But basically, these are all pure speculations. We still don't really know how and why apes became humans. Until now, researchers have also assumed that the Silurian was the decisive moment when life first began to settle on land. Marine animals became land animals, and we can still see this development today in some interesting biological facts. For example, the inner ear of most mammals and humans is a fluid-based hearing system that was designed for hearing underwater. Only land creatures developed a hearing system extended by the middle ear and the auditory ossicles, which was able to cope with sound conduction on land and through the air. These features show us the incredible skill of evolution, but we still do not know where the impulses and intelligence for such adaptations came from. The climate during the Silurian was predominantly warm and stable. There were no signs of major ice ages and the atmosphere probably had a higher oxygen content than today. Could these conditions, which were so different from what we know today, have contributed to the emergence of an early humanoid species? Scientists think this is impossible, and yet we have to believe things are possible that we cannot imagine today. Imagine these possibilities. The Silurian theory is usually associated with visitors from an alien world who could have mined on early Earth. Does this prove the Silurians? Can you imagine that millions of years ago, aliens were on our planet and mined raw materials here? We certainly can't completely rule it out. We can't just travel back in time and see what was going on. Or can we? In some places on Earth, our planet reveals something like an easily accessible geological history book. At faults, in canyons or in deep mining tunnels and caves, we come across layers that were deposited in rock during the Silurian period. Thanks to the latest technologies, scientists can analyze these rock lines, which are often only a few millimeters thick, in great detail. We can find out what climates prevailed at that time, what plant parts or even signs of organic life are embedded, and geologists can even see what events and forces contributed to the formation of the layer. This is very similar to the annual rings of trees, which provide information about the weather how much water the tree had available, and whether it received sufficient nutrients. If the theory of mining by alien but intelligent creatures on Earth is correct, the extraction of minerals and fossil fuels by such a civilization would certainly have left behind unique geological traces. For example, there could be unusual distributions of coal or petroleum. In natural deposits, certain materials occur in recognizable patterns, and it is precisely these patterns that many experts believe would have been conspicuously disrupted by mining activities. In addition, 
Such beings would very likely have brought artificial materials to Earth. Parts of spaceships, exhaust fumes from propulsion systems, metals from tools, or even traces of other technologies. In nature, metals are usually found in ore form, bound to other elements, and not in pure or alloyed form as used in modern technology. The presence of pure metals, or specific alloys that do not occur naturally, could indicate a processing or technologically advanced civilization. Further evidence would be finds of complex synthetic compounds such as certain plastics or advanced ceramics. What was mined? It sounds crazy, a superior race coming to Earth to mine. We are in the process of evolving beyond mining and the use of fossil fuels, and according to the Kardashev scale of intelligent race development, we are still somewhere at the very beginning. So how intelligent or advanced can a species be that was here in search of fuel? Or were these life forms possibly looking for or wanting something completely different? If we continue this fascinating thought experiment, early species on Earth could also have been searching for minerals such as gold or diamonds. Rare earths, which are used in our computer chips today, are also conceivable, or something completely different. Since we do not know how these creatures really lived and what their original home would have looked like, it's impossible to say what was of value here. Perhaps ordinary granite was of great value to them, or perhaps they carried tons of sand away from here. If we look at the hundreds of credible sightings of spaceships around the world, one detail keeps reoccurring. None of these UFOs have a visible or perceptible propulsion mechanism. They obviously do not move with combustion engines. Nobody gets far in space with conventional propulsion systems based on fossil fuels or gases. As we Earthlings know only too well, we must be happy if humans make it to the moon or, at the very most, to Mars in the near future. Aliens who were here on Earth must have cracked the rules of physics or they knew physical laws that are still hidden from us. It is therefore quite conceivable that such a species has left little or no trace. But it's possible that we ourselves are a trace of these life forms. They never left the Earth. Doesn't it sound exciting that this species may never have died out or left the planet, but is still here? Let's imagine that these life forms, or at least some of them, have remained on Earth and may have advanced the development of mankind and founded cities and cultures that are buried here today. In Indonesia, there is Gunung Padang, where researchers have found evidence that the lowest layers of the site indicate intelligent city building, and these layers are up to 40,000 years old. The pyramids are also often claimed to be tens of thousands of years older than we thought. It is possible that there are still many archaeological sites around the globe that date back to these eras and even further and show us that there were cultures before the last ice age. We also have to reckon with the fact that species from other worlds have repeatedly had an influence. It is also claimed that the Atlanteans were a race that once came to Earth from heaven. In Egyptian para-research, it is a popular legend that the ancient primordial race retreated below the Earth's surface a long time ago, as living beings in the flesh or as spiritualized beings. The species is said to have left behind in the famous Hall of Records beneath the Sphinx all the knowledge we humans need to understand where we once came from or who really created us. Many of these events are immortalized in myths, legends, and religions. Some believe that these prehistoric times were the inspiration for the stories about gods and supernatural beings described in ancient texts such as the Vedas and the Bible. The theories of pre-astronautics state that extraterrestrial beings often visited Earth in the past. The influences were both good and evil. One of the most popular stories is that of the Anunnaki, who created humans as a working race and then actually wanted to destroy them. But some Anunnaki stood up for the humans, and so we were allowed to live and develop. The mixing of races and cultures over the ages is said to be the true cause of the sudden advances in various civilizations, such as the sudden rise of Egypt or the enigmatic buildings of the Maya. To this day, the descendants of the Silurians or the Anunnaki could be living among us unnoticed or watching us from afar. This idea even takes up the zoo hypothesis recognized by renowned science. 
If we follow the Drake equation, which was developed by astronomer Frank Drake in 1961, there must be many intelligent extraterrestrial civilizations in the Milky Way alone. Some of them could have been well advanced millions of years ago. According to the zoo hypothesis, the fact that we do not know about these life forms or cannot find them is simply because these beings do not want to be found or contacted by us at the moment. However, they observe us from a distance like animals in a zoo. The zoo hypothesis goes on to explain that these beings are waiting for us to develop and do not want to disturb us. One day, when humanity is far enough along and peaceful enough, these creatures could make themselves known. This would, of course, also explain the many UFO sightings around the globe. The existence of cultures and civilizations that lived here hundreds of thousands of years ago could also explain some mysterious finds that do not fit into their eras or on Earth. Press subscribe now because there are many more highlights to come.